Hello everyone, I'm back with another Reddit Addicts episode. If you find my videos entertaining, please kindly subscribe and like them. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions and kind notes. Now, let's get started with today's exciting stories. My fiancé's ex sent me their sex tapes and I made the terrible mistake of watching it. My fiancé, 27M, and I, 29F, just got engaged a week ago. I proposed to him when I heard from our friends that he was sad that his proposal plans were ruined by COVID. We have been very happy this past week. I guess this caught the attention of his bitter ex, 28F. She contacted me on SM and sent me a few videos and said that even though I may be marrying him, I would never be able to satisfy him sexually the way she did. For some background, early on in our relationship I was a bit insecure about this ex especially how attractive she was, but my fiancé assured me that he would never ever consider being with her again, because she was abusive and used to force him into things he did not like. I soon grew out of these insecurities because my fiancé was an amazing BF and always made me feel loved and very secure. But the ex's message brought back all these insecurities and I decided to watch the videos she sent. It was a huge mistake. I have never seen my fiancé so passionate slash vocal during sex with me. She even had a video of her giving him a BJ in a public place, I never knew he was into all that stuff. I got really upset and decided to check if he had kept any of these videos on his phone. Turns out he hadn't kept any of them, but I found out messages discussing them with his best friend Sarah. Apparently, his ex had sent these tapes to him as well to remind him how good it was between them. He had deleted them right away and blocked her, but was debating whether or not to tell me about this, and thus asked Sarah's advice. The conversation somehow turned into Sarah asking who was better, sexually, my fiancé tried to evade the question but she pressed the issue for some reason. It looked like she was teasing him and was being playful, but after a while he got mad and sent her a mini rant. The important gist of it was basically this. If you look at it from a purely physical perspective, then yeah, X, was better. She was more my type physically and sexually. She was very aggressive and passionate and always took the initiative which I liked, and she gave one hell of a BJ. But she was also abusive and towards the end, she started using sex as a tool, and instead of feeling loved it became a desperate attempt for me to connect with her. Sex with, throw our Asadfians 2020, made me realize that sex was not just about the physical aspect. I feel loved and secure and happy when I am with her. Even if she is less my type compared to, X, the emotional connection means that the sex is automatically great. Although the second half of his rant somehow saves it, I still feel really hurt by his admission that sex was better with her. He did tell me that he liked me being aggressive and taking initiative, and I do try to be more like that, but once things start happening I end up becoming more passive and let him take the lead. I know I can try being more aggressive, but I am afraid I can never be as good as her and I can never be the kind of girl that can give public BJS. Now I wonder if he settled for me, despite not enjoying sex as much with me. Logically, I know I don't have to be the best at everything for my fiancé. But it hurts, because he is the best BF I have ever had in all aspects that I can think of and I always thought our sex life was amazing. Now I feel like I just got lucky because I was the first person he dated after that abusive POS and the bar was set so low that he decided that our relationship was amazing enough to make up for that I was not as good at sex as she was. I feel sad and hurt and I don't know what to do, the ex managed to ruin what was supposed to be one of the happiest period of my life. I don't know how to bring this up to my fiancé without sounding like a nut with no self-control who thought it was a good idea to watch the videos and snoop on his phone. Update, my fiancé's ex sent me their sex tapes and I made the terrible mistake of watching it. As for the update, after posting here and reading the advice and reflecting on my actions, I realized what I did was wrong and a violation of my fiancé's privacy. I allowed my insecurities to dictate my actions. Even though my fiancé is okay with me using his phone, my intent to snoop made what I did wrong. 
so I decided to just come clean. I sat him down the next day and told him that the ex sent me the videos as well, and also came clean about the snooping. He was pretty upset, but surprisingly he wasn't that upset with the snooping, he seemed more upset that his ex had somehow managed to cause drama once again in his life. He told me that he hadn't watched any of the videos because in a majority of them he was uncomfortable with recording them and only did it for her and was afraid if watching it made me look at him in a bad way. This made me feel even shittier for what I did and I apologized again and reassured him that they did not in any way lessen my feelings or respect for him. I wanted him to have some time to process things and decide what to do about the ex and what I did, so I gave him some space. That night, I decided to cook his favorite meal as a sort of apology dinner and discuss things. He seemed in a much better mood. He apologized to me for not telling me about the tapes right away and for being an idiot and not realizing that she would come after me when he had blocked her. He told me he appreciated me coming clean about the snooping and understood how I got carried away and that I could have just talked to him and he would have given me his phone and reassured me that he hadn't kept any of the videos. I asked if he was going to press charges regarding revenge porn and he told me that he wanted nothing to do with her and that we should just move on and enjoy our engagement and forget the whole thing. I told him it was completely his choice and I support him and would delete the videos and block her right away. Finally, I brought up the texts, and he apologized to me for the rant. He told me that was the first time in a long time that he had actually thought about who was better and that he had never actively compared me with any of his exes before. He told me he should have just answered it with a simple my fiancé is better, and tried to apologize again. I told him that he didn't have to sugarcoat anything and that it was his private conversation with a friend and I have no right to be mad when he wasn't really disrespectful about me or our sex life. I also told him that it was okay if she was better and I didn't have to be the best at everything. He explained to me that after talking to Sarah he thought more about it and that he hadn't really expressed his thoughts well in the text but he would like to explain it better. You are the best I have had, I am not lying or sugarcoating anything. If someone asked me who is the most skilled or the most adventurous sexual partner that I have had, then yeah, it would probably be her. But that doesn't really matter because if someone asked me what was the best sex I have ever had, my first thought would be the time when we had sex right after you asked me to marry you, and then it would be the night when you first told me you loved me and third would be the time when we had sex in the kitchen the day I moved in. For all her skill and experience, she couldn't even make the top three, and we have the rest of our lives to make sure that she doesn't even come near the top 100. So no, I am not lying when I say you are the best I have had. I am not going to lie, despite what I said about not needing to be the best, just hearing what he said, maybe I butchered the quote, he was so much more charming and eloquent, made me really happy, so I kissed him and asked him if he wanted to try and break into the top three again. Then, we had sex, smiley face. I didn't really specifically try to be more aggressive, but I tried to focus more on what he was feeling to reassure myself that he was enjoying it as much as I did. That naturally allowed me to be the one in the lead, and it was great. I could tell that he really enjoyed it as well. I know I have to work on my insecurities and potentially see a therapist. But for now, I will try my best to just forget what I saw in those videos and enjoy being engaged to the most amazing man I know. TLDR, I fessed up, my fiancé was very graceful and even tried to take some of the blame. We made up and will continue to enjoy the post-engagement bliss. P.S. I appreciate the harsh comments that told me I was wrong to snoop. But those of you that sent me hateful PMS telling me that I was no better than his ex and that I should leave him? Seriously, fuck off. I may be an insecure nut sometimes, but I have never ever taken it out on him and would never hurt him like she did. And me wanting to be the best sex he has had is not some narcissistic ego trip. It was because to me he is the best sex I have ever had, and hopefully ever will, and I wanted to be the same for him. I don't think there is anything wrong with that. We hope you enjoyed this story. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. And before you go, please be sure to subscribe for more.